Hello guys, how are you? I hope all of you are doing well. From All in One Academy today, I have come to guide you through the mysterious yet very much exciting world of physics. First of all, we need to understand what is physics. Physics is nothing but it is a study of all the naturally occurring phenomena and putting all of them in a scientific way in the simplest manner so that everyone can understand what is the cause behind all these phenomena. Have you ever questioned yourself how the rainbow occurs, how rainfall happens? You're facing eyesight problems with your eye and you go to the doctor and the doctor gives you a certain pair of glasses. How this certain pair of glasses treats your eye? Well, all these answers lie within the study of physics. Have you ever wondered what holds the universe together? What causes the stars, moons and the artificial satellites still in their orbit? Have you ever wondered why nuclear explosions are so much dangerous? Well, all of these questions can be answered with the help and understanding of fundamental forces. In physics, there are four types of fundamental forces. The first is gravitational force, second is we call electromagnetic force, third is strong nuclear force and fourth is weak nuclear force. There are four types of fundamental forces in physics and understanding of them is very much important. It builds the foundation of physics in your life. Now, we are going to learn about the gravitational force. So, we all are familiar with the story that one sunny day Newton was sitting under an apple tree and an apple fell, on, fell down to his head. So, instead of analyzing how the apple fell down, Newton could have eaten the apple but Newton didn't do that. Newton studied and analyzed this and what causes the apple to fell down. So, in the end Newton comes to the result that there is a force that is attracting all the objects of us towards the center, towards the core of art and that force is known as gravitational force. And the study of gravitational forces lead us to the various technological advancements that humanity is witnessing. Nowadays, you can wonder why moons and satellites are in their orbit. They are not falling down to the Earth's core. Well, the answer gives us the proper understanding and proper application of gravitational forces. So now we have understand the gravitational force. Now we are going to the next force that is electromagnetic force. So electromagnetic force studies tells us about the causes of electrical and magnetic effects. How the most charged motion of the charged particle leads to the magnetic fields and magnetic effects and how motion of magnetic fields can lead to the electric fields and electric forces are combined and studied them under electromagnetic force. Now, we are going to understand about strong nuclear force. This is the third fundamental force. Strong nuclear force is the force that binds proton and neutrons under nucleus. So we all are familiar with the proton and neutrons and we also familiar with the nucleus of the atom. So binding a proton and a neutron inside the nucleus leads a very strong amount of force. So this force is called strong nuclear force. So moving towards the next force, this is weak nuclear force. Unlike the strong nuclear force, this force is responsible for the radioactive decays. We all are familiar with the decays, beta decay, alpha decay, gamma decay. And for these decays, the force that is responsible, that is weak nuclear force. So far, we have understood all the fundamental forces. All these forces have different ranges and different strengths, but their contribution to the universe, keeping the universe together, is not negligible at all. So, in this era today, the era of internet, all the resources are very much available, yet some topics are elusive to find. So, from All in One Academy, I welcome you all to the world of physics and learn something new. Come join us.